Hi, I'm Carmen Shamma, I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about uh, Tuesday, the 25th of uh, July. It's the third day, consecutive day with the moon in Libra. So this should be another beautiful day if you're Libra, Aries, if you're Libra, Aquarius, and if you're a Gemini. But you have to know at 5 p.m. Universal Time, this moon moves to Scorpio. So everything changes. If you're watching me from the Americas, the moon will be in Scorpio almost around noon or early or midday let's uh, start with aries aries things will get easier in the afternoon or in the evening uh, the moon in um, libra you know by now that it challenges you a little bit all you need to do is know how to talk how to um uh, sweet talk or get things done uh, flexibly because everything will going to change to your favor or this uh, uh, cloud is going to disappear at uh, 5 p.m universal time Let's uh, move uh, to Taurus. Taurus, the moon in uh, Libra is your best bet. When the moon moves to Scorpio, things are going to get stormy and not going to be nice and kind or kind at all. So you have to know how to handle things in an easy way. Other, otherwise, things will be totally chaotic and uh, not to your favor. Any confrontation will put you maybe in a very... Um, embarrassing situation or maybe a delicate situation or confusing situation let's move now to gemini gemini it's a beautiful day the moon in libra is so nice and so kind and so lovely everything seems to be fine and beautiful you will love it even when the moon moves to scorpio you'll be quite fine uh, although very busy but uh, all in all the day starts well uh, during the day as well and it should finish well Let's move now to Cancer, Cancerians. Uh, okay, so maybe you were busy during the past two days with your family and friends. You were a little bit tense. You had something on your mind. You were kind of worried, but then everything changes. Everything will be beautiful. This cloud will disappear and a nice, beautiful vibe will, um, will help change your mood to be happier and to be easier. That's when the moon moves to Scorpio at 5 p.m. Universal time. Let's move now to Leo. Leo, it's, um, it's a definitely it's a fast day you're running you're dashing you're talking you're happy you should be it's kind of a lovely uh, lively efficient uh, vibe when the moon moves to scorpio you seem tired or maybe you feel as if you have uh, depleted your energy that's when you want to relax but maybe you still have work uh, you may feel a little bit um, annoyed with uh, uh, personal interruptions like uh, family children loved ones uh, people trying to uh, get in touch with you, you are still busy. So you need to be flexible and uh, kind with that. Um, more understanding, let's say. Okay. Let's move now to Virgo. Uh, Virgo, this is a nice day that uh, starts well and ends even better. But there's one condition for you to um, enjoy this day. You have to be a little bit more careful and uh, attentive to your work you have to follow up because the sun in, a, in in leo seems to put you in a chaotic situation uh for 30 days 31 days so you have to know how to follow up on things um uh, also you really need to mind your language your um, efforts uh, there may be some, I said, misunderstanding. So be careful, especially, especially if you were born between 28th and the 2nd of September. Let's move now to Libra. It's a beautiful day. Uh, early morning, noon, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, especially when the moon is in your sign in Libra. So all in all, this is a beautiful, engaging day. It helps you get what you want. It moves with you softly and it sure puts you on the safe shore. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. If you haven't decided on anything in the past two days, today is a day that will bring the solutions to you. Okay, let's move now to Scorpio. Scorpio, this is a day that we can divide in two parts. The first part is the weird, uh, uneasy and un, um, inefficient uh, part. It's uh, kind of unlucky 
that's uh, while the moon is in Libra till 5 p.m. universal time. When the moon moves to Scorpio to your sign, that's when everything changes and suddenly you are the champ, suddenly you are the one who knows, suddenly you're the one who woke up, suddenly you're the one who's ready to be the hero to do anything. So there's, um, uh, there's a trick in this day and you really need to pay attention to that. Your uh, winning card, uh, I think you should wait, you play it when the moon is in your sign. Sagittarius, uh, this should be a very nice day. It's uh, very interesting. It's very, very helpful. While the moon is in Libra, that's when you can actually enjoy everything around you, all kind of activities. That's when you are very, very efficient and astounding. When the moon moves to Scorpio, that's when you really need to pay attention because everything changes. It's like you're going... Uh, moving fast and all of a sudden you, you break, you know, like you have, you need to stop. All of a sudden everything stops, everything is on hold and that will take place uh, for some time. You regain your energy back on Friday. So you have to make the best of the moon in Libra. Let's move now to Capricorn. Capricorn, this is a nice day. It gets good and then it gets even better and better and better. Uh, it gets more efficient with the moon in Scorpio because at that moment, that's when people around you appear. People who want to help you, who are ready to help you, really appear. The moon in Libra actually brings about around people who really want to who seem to antagonize you or provoke you. In a way, maybe it's not uh, intentionally, you know, it's not intentional. But then this is what it seems to you. In all cases, this is a beautiful day. Enjoy. Let's uh, move uh, now to uh, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is a day that you should enjoy. You can enjoy and you should enjoy the moon in Libra because it's beautiful. It's helpful. It's nice. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. But, and a big but, when the moon moves to Scorpio, everything changes. Everything becomes kind of dark, cloudy, stormy. You have to pay attention, especially to your relations, especially to your work, especially to your tasks and responsibilities. Everything seems like a conspiracy against you. So you have to be, to be very patient and you have to be alert. Otherwise, things may go all wrong. Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, this is a nice day. The moon in Libra is nice. The moon in uh, Cancer in Scorpio is even nicer. You can enjoy this whole beautiful day. All day long, you're an achiever, you're a success story, and um, the day begins maybe a normal day, then it ends with a beautiful, great smile on your face. Let's wrap it up with born uh, on the 25th of uh, uh, of uh, July. This is a beautiful year, very rewarding, very helpful, very insightful. Uh, it seems to be a very um, busy year. You have so many um, desires to relocate and it may help you actually relocate. Uh, this is a great year for uh, business. This is a great year for projects, uh, but you need to think about your um, the foundation um, better in a wise way. Uh, Jupiter, which is in Taurus, will help you move higher and higher, like get a promotion. So wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.